Hi, my name is Matt. I know we've been talking about it, but we're finally producing our owner's review of our Cutwater C28. For reviewer convenience, we have divided the review of our 2018 Cutwater 28 into a series of video segments, each covering a different review focus. Please note that there are no changes of note between our model and the current 2020, at least none that we could discern. This video is the general introduction, which outlines the basic premise of our review, conditions of use, and other pertinent information. Please make certain to view all the video segments of the C28 for a complete owner's review. In the review video segments, we will share insight collected from over two and a half years of extensive use. We will share the pros, cons, and pitfalls we encountered in hopes of potentially improving your own experience should you choose to purchase one. Since purchasing, we have towed buoyancy from the Pacific Northwest to Lake Powell, the San Juan Islands, the California Delta, and boated waters local to us in the Northwest, specifically around the greater Portland, Oregon area. The subsequent reviews were shot in Southwest Washington State on Lake Merwin. We've used buoyancy in temperatures ranging from 16 degrees to over 110 degrees Fahrenheit, in hot dry weather to conditions with high winds and torrential rains from calm waters to over six foot seas, in conditions with good visibility and conditions of zero visibility caused by either fog or stormer conditions or in the darkness of night. Since these videos will be long and extensive, for your convenience, each video is provided with links to the description below that will take you directly to the different focus points in each of the videos. As a side note, once we decided to purchase our Cutwater 28, we searched online for used vessels, and what we found at the time was that they retained their value very well. At the time of our search, two and three year old vessels were selling for a mere ten to twelve thousand dollars less than a new vessel, and some were priced on par with a new vessel, so we decided to purchase new. There are advantages to buying a nearly new vessel if you purchase from the right seller, one that has taken the time to shake out the mechanical, electrical, and fit and finish issues, you can spare yourself the time and effort usually associated with a new vessel purchase. If you're considering a new boat purchase, research both the dealer and the manufacturer. Many components from different sources are involved in the construction of the boat, and the process involves a lot of human interaction. Your boat will not be perfect, and the willingness and responsiveness of the yacht sales dealer to remedy the normal fit and finish issues you can expect will be crucial to your boating experience. Check them out online, call the manufacturer, and ask for their feedback. Willingness and responsiveness of the manufacturer is also key. Research them online and ask your yacht sales dealer what their experience has been with the manufacturer. If possible, arrange a tour of the manufacturing facility. There you'll be able to gauge the commitment of the manufacturer to the customer. While you tour, pay close attention to the facility. How is it organized? Is it organized? Is it neat and clean? Are the raw construction materials protected from the weather? Does the manufacturer experience sharp order fluctuation and are they able to retain their employees during sharp declines? Are they in the midst of a sharp increase of orders? How do they approach maintaining quality control during order surges? Either scenario I mentioned can have an impact on the quality of the build of your boat. You want to know how experienced the workforce is that will or has recently constructed your vessel. A workforce with excessive new hires may result in more issues for you. Conversely, a manufacturer with a downturn in sales may have had to lay off employees, which could potentially affect employee morale and translate into more issues for you. In short, do you feel comfortable with the overall experience and attitude of the manufacturer workforce. If you're a new boat owner, investigate what assistance you can expect from both your purchasing source and the boat manufacturers. I'm pleased to say that Sundance Yacht Sales have been very supportive in the post-purchase process, and so has Cutwater. Are there factory and or dealer sponsored events? Sundance Yachts and Cutwater Manufacturing sponsor rendezvous events that provide for fun and networking amongst Cutwater owners. And at many of these events, there's training offered on various topics to help improve boating pleasure and safety. Cutwater factory staff attends many of these events which provide for interaction and training, making these events excellent opportunities to have your questions answered by knowledgeable and experienced individuals. 
Cutwater also sponsors courses to improve boat owner awareness and safety. We have attended both the rendezvous events and the classroom training and found them to be beneficial and fun, which of course is what boating is all about. For new owners, Cutwater even offers a factory delivery experience, whereby the factory will take time to train new owners on the boat they purchased at the factory. After the factory delivery, your boat is prepared for transport, whether it entails shipment to a place of your choosing or trailering home yourself. Purchasing a trailable cabin cruiser is a major commitment to a chosen way of boating, and the more time spent preparing before you purchase in advance is a potential savings of time and money after your purchase. I hope you will join us in our remaining video segments of the Cutwater 28, possibly the best value in a 28-foot trailerable cabin cruiser on the market today. I hope you will enjoy our future videos on the Cutwater 28, and I hope they'll prove to be some value of you. And if so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and or comment in question, and of course, always remember to click that notification bell. Thank you for watching.